Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and today, in line with my new rule of actually using and incorporating everything I do, I'm going to actually install my public convenience mocks into Brick Nottingham. But first, some minor amendments. <laughs> Good, good. Well, last time we did our little forest scene for all of the forest men in Robin's gang. Uh, and there are a few minor amendments for that, but I think all of them make things a little bit better. Uh, one was just to rearrange the mushrooms so we could see them a bit better. And I think you can see the red one through that gap now. I still want them kind of near the back, but uh, that's all right. Uh, there's lots of foliage pieces throughout. Uh, we've put the bird in Mrs. Hood's hand. Uh, we've given the squirrel one of those acorns to munch on. Uh, I've also added some flowers. This one has the friend's uh, little butterfly on. It's also got a little uh, bar piece on the back that you can stick into the top of a flower. So it's actually sat on one, which I like very much. Uh, and this one, I've used the old flower pieces, but I've also added uh, a little kind of dome type piece which is actually the base of antenna. And you just basically shove the uh, stem, the green stem in place of the black aerial bit uh, and then put on a normal flower piece on the top in the normal position and kind of join the two together. And it makes them look like, well, bell shaped flowers, I suppose. So I haven't got loads and loads of antennas to do that, but I can definitely do it for one clump here. So I think that looks really good as well. So there we go, a lot more, uh, well, kind of filled in, I suppose, with more detail. So I'm very happy with those suggestions. Thanks for those. Uh, another one that I got a few of was to block out the word Samsung on my monitor with a black sticker. Uh, and I found one actually, well, it's almost black anyway. It's this mirrored sheet, which I've taken a black strip off here which had a couple of minor little sort of uh, mirrored stars on it but I don't think that's too bad uh, and it's the only one I had that was black and the right size to stick over the logo of the monitor so that's what I've done there that came from 41117 Popstar TV Studio from 2016 a friend set obviously uh, but that should mean that uh, yeah it's not taking away from our lovely scene when that's back in position. Uh, I will take off that sticker though, if I do get an offer for a big buck sponsorship from Samsung, <laughs> that will make it worthwhile. But so far they've been having free advertising. So anyway, that's a bit more busy, a bit more fun and a bit more detail. So thank you for all of your suggestions. If one of those was yours. Right, back to today's build. Yup, and today's build was actually started almost a year ago, would you believe? Wow time flies on this channel. Uh, I made these fun builds showing the stereotypical uh, female and male bathrooms, with the female one being absolutely pristine, uh, sweet smelling and well kept. <laughs> and then the boys one being obviously the exact opposite, complete destruction, mayhem and absolute filth all over the place. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite good. Now clearly both of those uh, builds are based loosely around the uh, Harry Potter set 76386 Polyjuice Potion Mistake. I think the mistake with the potion was that he drank it and it made him desperately need a visit to these sort of facilities. But anyway, <laughs> uh, and as part of that video in the comments, I asked for all of your uh, ghastly stories about horrible uh, uh, public conveniences. Uh, and some of them were quite interesting, so you might want to go back and read those. Uh, but quite a few of them were about the fact that the ladies were just as bad, if not worse, than the boys. So maybe the stereotype isn't really true. Anyway, I won't go there today. <laughs> Uh, so a lot of comments also suggested amendments to make this scene even better. So we've actually got a second set of amendments today. Uh, one was just to add a second lady to the ladies scene because everyone knows that girls don't go to the toilet on their own. They're always at least in pairs. So I've added this lady here. Uh, but the boys needed much more mayhem according to you. So I've added a rat underneath the stall door here. We've got a pile of vomit here because it was about the only uh, <laughs> kind of product that wasn't all over the floor. Eh, yuck. Uh, we also wanted some graffiti. So later I'll be putting in some side walls and I've got some graffiti on there. I'll also be putting in a door to get in here. I'm gonna put another graffiti sticker on the back of that. So we've got those covered. And I got those from this sticker sheet that was part of uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle set, 79117 Turtle Lair Invasion from 2014. And I've got plenty more of those to go as well. 
Uh, and then another one was to have a plumber on way to fix the problem with all of the blockages, mainly in the gents after all. Uh, so I've got this guy from Joe's Plumbing. Uh, and basically he looks very happy at the moment, which I don't think would be accurate. So I'm just going to replace his head with the pukey face because, wow, he must be holding his breath going, oh my word, because even plumbers can't get used to the smell, surely. And just to make it very clear that he's a plumber, apart from his logo, which I do really like, this sort of a, a U-bend of pipes, uh, I'll give him the plunger from the uh, Series 9 Plumber. A series minifigure and he can just be walking down the corridor that will link the two uh, sub builds so yeah looking really good so if you suggested one of those amendments here is your Bedoying and uh, long time coming but the only thing really remaining now is to get it in the city so uh, yeah where exactly is this fitting well, in Brick Nottingham, the area long designated for these public conveniences is actually underneath the Krusty Krab. Uh, the level of the beach is much lower than the street level, uh, and that level actually continues along the table top underneath these street scenes. So the uh, area underneath is, well, completely hollow and unused. So we want to make really good use of that space. Uh, now, I probably will have to lift up the Krusty Krab and a lot of these scenes in order to temporarily remove the kind of roof for our new build uh, to gain access to it. I'm hoping I won't have to take out the uh, monorail section, <laughs> but uh, I may well have to. Uh, and it also uh, gives us the problem of actually accessing this for minifigures, uh, because this street scene is pretty full, all the way from our Krusty Krab scene with the, all of the people on the bachelor party or stag party. Uh, we've got our artists and drinkers and so on, and our seagull attack scene, which is one of my favourites, uh, attacking the fish and chips of the rugby players. So, yeah, having another stairwell down is going to be a bit of a squeeze and a bit repetitious, really, when we've got one for the subway uh, right next door. So I kind of figured that they would share the same stairway. Uh, and this sub-level here, which has got the ticket machine on it that actually spins around, uh, to reveal a monster, Ooh, very scary indeed, uh, could also double as our entry point for our uh, public conveniences. So this wall down here, please focus on that, there we go, uh, could be used because it's very blank as it is. Now it's not the easiest wall to see, but at least it will work in universe. So yeah, I like that. And then we'll have the cross section of all those uh, rooms visible from here uh, with something very special on the end. All right, well, if we're coming in from the subway, then first of all, we just need a kind of entry door that distinguishes it from everywhere else down there. Uh, so I've got this pretty standard, really, but with a shared male and female symbol on the door. And I got that sticker from the uh, uh, Legoland Water Park set from 2021, set 40473, that was also donated to the channel, and it's round the back on the original set. Uh, so that can link with that sort of sub uh, level on the subway before the escalators and be a way in. Then I think I'm going to have a little section kind of blocked off to represent, well, the warren of passages that takes us to the actual toilet doors. So that's going to go there. Then we're going to have the ladies. Uh, then we can have a central corridor with our plumber in uh, and the doors that will go from that central corridor into the ladies and into the gents can be these. One in a nice bright pink and one in a sand blue with uh, medium blue and bright pink door handles. Very nice. Uh, and what I've done there is use another sticker, except this time I've cut it in half just to make uh, one male and one female. So uh, yeah, I've chopped off the black edging on the outside of that sticker. Uh, and that one came from the uh, Downtown Fire Brigade set, 60216, uh, where it was on a kind of port -loo. So there we go. So that will basically go into a wall there. And I'm hoping there'll be enough space when you're lent down in the legroom to actually see all of this effort that's going into making all the scenes. Uh, and that one will go there. Then we can have the boys toilet except I think what I'm going to do is mirror it so before these were exactly the same with the stool on the left and then the three sinks and so on but if I mirror the whole thing then it will be a bit more space here where we've got the entry door sort of in the open side so we'll have the vomit on that side and the stool on 
the right. Then we can have the solid wall with the graffiti on. Oh, and there was a bit more graffiti on the inside of the door as promised, a nice big G in kind of fluorescent green. Uh, and then we've got a bit more space, would you believe, even more on the right. And I thought that might be represented by a massive overflow of, well, what isn't going down the toilet. Uh, and that would be a good place for my rock monster's poop monster, <laughs> my Swedish poop monster. It's not made of Swedish poop, it's just from Sweden. Uh, yeah, because that was sent into the channel as well. Uh, so that's where he can reside. He definitely needs a backstory as to how he exists and why he has come to life out of all the poop. Uh, I don't really know. But anyway, he can be in the last remaining section before we get back to the beach, which would be kind of like here, him looming out at us in the cross section of where the standing hole is so I think that'll be really good uh, so essentially I've just been playing around with loads of little bits of poop and loads of brown tiles which is all pretty grim really but anyway to try and sort of see if I can get him in a big puddle of it going off into the distance so yeah that is super grim probably the <laughs> the worst thing I've ever done in my city and that can go kind of there so yeah loads to fit in but I think the scene will be really good it's all got a bit squished now uh, but I want to also link it to above ground as well and that's where we can have the Joe's plumbing van which is very nice indeed with all this plumbing equipment on the roof tools on the outside and the wonderful Joe's plumbing logo with that you Ben making it into a J for Joe uh, and then there's Joe himself of course uh, here with his blue cap on and he'll be above ground uh, linking the two scenes together and one amendment I'm going to do with that is just to remove the plate uh, front and back that are on this in a style that's not consistent with the rest of my city uh, with a pair that I got on a brick hall uh, and I think that'll look a lot better. Uh, this incidentally came from the set 70811 The Flying Flusher from 2014 which is a Lego movie set where it's kind of in flying mode but that is actually a two-in-one set uh, and you can build the uh, sort of donor uh, plumbing van as I have, because that looks absolutely great in my city. I mean, it's much better than a lot of uh, Lego City sets, if you ask me. I think we should go for more variety, uh, Lego City, if you're listening. Uh, let's not have another refuse van or another fire engine. Let's have a plumbing van or a carpenter's van or I don't know. There's loads of professions that we haven't covered even once. So, yeah, that would be a great addition to the city as well. Right, I'm going to stop wittering, get all this up into a box and carry it into the Lego room for installation. Okay, well a lot of that lifted off quite easily actually, kind of in large sections like this, if I was very careful pulling it apart. So I think I can put all that back together again once we've got our new stuff in quite easily, which is nice. Uh, and I notice as well that on the back of the... Uh, uh, Krusty Krab, we've actually got a Joe's Plumbing advert, so it's very appropriate indeed that he's in this uh, area as well. Uh, right, so I've put in that door uh, for the entranceway, and I've got it so it's kind of folding in, opening into the cavity there, uh, so it doesn't get in the way of the escalators. Uh, and then we've got the first wall. I know there's really not much gap there, but you'll have to imagine there is uh, for uh, before the ladies. Uh, then the corridor roughly where those two bricks are, then the gents, and then we've got our poop monster in his river of poop. Uh, and it's a bit unfortunate with the uh, position of his hand and stuff that we can see the grey base plate underneath. Ideally we'd have a brown base plate, uh, but I'm not sure you can get one, especially in 16 by 16 anyway. Uh, because we've got absolutely no tolerance left on the height. By the time we put a plate on here, you'll be touching the ceiling and the floor at the same time. So there's absolutely no space uh, to do it with uh, an extra plate layer even in between the two. Uh, but I think you still get the idea and him sort of looming out of the depths. I think we'll be able to keep one of those arches at least uh, that are used to support the level above. Uh, so I think it'll look really good. In fact, by the time the lid's on, you won't see anything past him and his face and hands, I don't think. Uh, but we still have the question of why the poop monster is here uh, and where he came from. Well, Sweden, I suppose, but <laughs> where he comes from in universe. Uh, was it toxic waste getting in the sewer? Maybe from, uh, ooh, where is it? Toxic wagon, there it is. Or maybe from the uh, nuclear waste or toxic waste that's sort of leaking over there with the... Uh, 
uh, radioactive hazmat guy uh, checking it out. Uh, maybe it was just a build-up of all the filth created by the gents' toilets. <laughs> I don't know, but we definitely need a reason, so uh, why don't you put your ideas for that in the comments section below. Uh, and this uh, monster, in case you're interested, came in a couple of sets, Rock Raiders, uh, 4 the Loader Dozer from 1999 being one of them. Oh, right, I'm going to push on. And it's in. Wow, that was a bit of a slog, actually. Uh, not without its problems. I actually uh, lost a couple of bricks down the back of there and had to kind of fish them all out, so that was a bit of a pain. Uh, but we've got our poop monster, and I've used some black bricks that I had left over from the express passenger train on the right there and changed some of the white columns behind it to black. So when this has got its roof on, uh, it really doesn't have anything showing up behind him at all. It is just him looming out of the backdrop, which is exactly what we wanted, uh, with the arch turned to black as well, so that's good. Then we've got the boys looking absolutely brilliant with its uh, scene of destruction. You can just see the uh, bit of graffiti on that wall. I had to reposition the rat slightly further out because his tail is asymmetrical. So basically when I uh, mirrored the whole build uh, as it is now, then I uh, had to bring him out a bit further. Uh, and we've got a nice bit of graffiti on that door as well. So hopefully that's all visible when the lid's on, along with our sort of smashed mirrors and uh, broken taps and basin and all the rest of it and him nonchalantly walking through all of the absolute mess and detritus uh, then we've got our corridor with our plumber holding his breath and what i really like about this is i've actually used as the end of the corridor because this goes on um, uh, for six more studs on each side with tan bricks uh, and then i've got at the very end one of these uh, one by six by five panels in dark blue and i always use these on my subway uh, stops as well when they just go to a dead end so it looks like some gloom uh, that the thing is disappearing into and the camera really doesn't pick it up as much as it does in real life uh, let's see if I can focus on that uh, that helps a little bit but it really reflects those tiles I don't know if you can see that on screen uh, all those tiles that are on the floor are completely reflected in that panel and it looks like the uh, passage goes on and on into the distance so that's really good i really like that effect it was totally accidental that part of it but uh yeah that's brilliant so you must have to go in the door on the uh left uh go through all sorts of passages to come out here to get into the loos but anyway that looks good i like the floor being a bit different from either the boys or the girls uh, and the holding the breath scene obviously is great uh, and then we've got the ladies, as we always had, looking lovely and pristine. So I just hope you can see all of this detail uh, when we actually get to putting the lid on. Ho, 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 ho! All put back together above ground and below ground. We've got this wonderful cross-section with all that colour, all that detail and all that interesting shape. It's absolutely great. So there is our poop monster looming out of the darkness and you really can't see anything past him, which is kind of the point. Looks very good, only made better by one of those very rare uh, brown base plates. Then we've got the boys, an absolute scene of carnage, looking great. You can see all of that detail if you want to, including the mirror that cracked and all the rest of it. Our uh, plumber holding his breath, very good. And in real life, at least, you can see that reflection still that you really have to peer for it, but it's good that it just goes off into the darkness again. Uh, and then our very bright and colourful ladies, looking very nice indeed. Well worth a visit. But yeah, otherwise, seamlessly incorporated. I'm really happy with that, actually. I'm sort of worried about putting it all in, that all that detail would be lost. Uh, and then above ground, we've got Joe and his van on the curb, and he's got his hammer, because that's the one he uses most for fixing things or persuading them to work. Uh, and he'll go down the stairway, of course, and in that door uh, just around the corner. So, yeah, tell me what you think of that. Is there something I've missed out? Is there something I could do a bit better? Or uh, is that absolutely perfect? I think it adds quite a lot from a distance as well, just making the city look even more busy and interesting. <laughs> So as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out the links in the description below. 
And next time on Robin Hood Bricks, it'll be a Wednesday, so we'll be doing another brick haul. <laughs> Double one this time, actually, to get through all the packages in August. Uh, and then Friday, I don't know what we'll be up to, so it'll be a surprise for us both. But until then, from Joe, the plumber, and me, see you! Yeah, so much detail. <laughs>